everyone, Claudia here. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanna talk about how to use Google Meet. In the past year, Google has released some additional features with Google Meet. Obviously, with a lot more users on the platform, I think that they realized they needed some additional features. So I wanna talk about that today. I do think that once you get to know it, it is pretty user-friendly. So hopefully this video helps you out. As always, I will leave a list of topics I'll be covering in today's video in the description box along with their timestamps if you're looking for something specific, and I will be showing you screen recordings on my MacBook. If you like this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up and let's get started. To start off, I wanna mention that you do not need a Google account to use Google Meet. You do need a Google account if you want to start or host a meeting. So I'm currently logged into my Gmail and I'll show you how easy it is to start a meeting within your Gmail account. So on the left-hand side here, as you can see, it says new meeting or join a meeting. So we're just gonna click on new meeting so I can show you what it looks like when you start a meeting. So we're gonna start it now. And you can also really easily schedule a meeting within your Gmail. So if you go up to here and click Google Apps and click Calendar, you can schedule a Google meeting for a future time slot and that way you can send email invites to everybody really easily. So I will show you how to do that by going up to create and let's just start a new meeting. So Google meet and I like to just click more options cause you get a bigger screen here. You can pick your date, your time, your time zone, which is really helpful, especially right now. People are kind of all over the place. And if you want to add a Google Meet conference, you just click right here and click add Google Meet video conferencing. So then you can just go on the side here and click add guests. You can add everybody's email. And once you're done, you can click save and it will send it to any guests that you added to the guest list. I will show you what it looks like when you have an invitation in your inbox as well so you can see what guests see and also how you can join a meeting if you've been invited to one. So here we have an invitation, Google Meet, and if you wanna actually join, you'll just scroll down here to this link. And if you click on the link that was sent to you in the invitation, it will take you into your Google Meet meeting. You can also go to meet.google.com and click on new meeting or enter a meeting code or a link. If you click new meeting within this page, it's gonna give you the option to start an instant meeting, schedule in Google Calendar, or create a meeting for later. When you join a meeting, it's nice because this kind of test window pops up where you can test your audio and video settings here. So you can check your audio and video and it will give you a preview of how you sound and how your video looks. So if you need to make any adjustments before clicking join now, you can do so. You can also change your background. So if you're not happy with the background you have, you can blur it. That's slightly blur. There's also fully blur and you can also upload your own image if you want to or choose any one of these kind of preset images. So maybe I'm in this living room now instead of my office. Then if you wanna turn that off, you can just click X out. And then once you're all ready to go, you just click join now. So let's actually just go ahead and click join now so I can show you all the features once you're actually logged in. So let's start with everything here on the bottom. So. First of all, right here, this is the meeting ID. So if somebody needs your meeting ID, you can find it right here very easily and just copy it and send it to them. Right over here, we have turning your microphone on and off, which is a really important feature, especially in group meetings. You can also see that they, when you hover over it, there is a shortcut key. So if you want to just quickly turn it on and off, you can do it with the shortcut or you can click on it. When it's off, it will be in red with a strike through it, and when it's on, it will look like this. Same thing with video. If you hover over it, it will give you the shortcut to turn camera on and off. Or you can just click on it. You can also turn on captions, which can be really helpful if you're doing like a large presentation and maybe there are people who are sitting in the back and they might not be able to hear everything super well. You can turn on captions and you'll be able to see that they're pretty accurate. And I really love this feature. It's especially nice if you have um, 
people who need to read for accessibility reasons. Right next to it is the present button, which we will go over in a second. This will give you more options. So in this section, you can go full screen, you can change your background, you can change the layout if you have a bunch of people in here and you want to see people in a different way. There are a lot of different layout options. If you click on settings, you can also change your microphone and your speakers as well as if you have a different camera that you have set up and you want to change it to that instead of the camera that's built into your computer. So those are kind of just additional audio and video settings. And then if you do need any additional help, it's nice because if you just click right here, you can do troubleshooting and help. If you click this little I button, it will pull up meeting details. So as I mentioned, this right here is the meeting ID. You can just copy the joining info from here as well and just send it to somebody on the fly if somebody needs to be added into the meeting. And if you send a Google Calendar invite and add an attachment, so maybe there's a document that you and your team need to review, and you attach it in the calendar invite, it will show up here. So if you want to review a document as a team, not everyone has to go back to their emails, pull up the document. They can just pull it up right in Google Meet. This will show you all the participants within a call. This is the chat. So if you want to send a chat to somebody, if you have questions, you can do that here. And then this is just some additional activities. So whiteboard is available to everyone. And then there are some different options if you have a premium membership. Whiteboarding can be a cool thing to do if you kind of have an idea that you want to get out there to your team but are having a hard time explaining it. If you click start a new whiteboard, as you can see here, you can start by really just kind of drawing shapes. You can actually make shapes here. You can add text. You can erase anything and if you want to share it with someone you can do that as well as well as maybe download it and kind of circulate it after a meeting if that's something that you want to do. Now I'm going to talk about sharing your screen so as I mentioned this is the present button and this will share your screen so if we click present now the options are your entire screen a window or a tab and as you can see the tab is best for video or animation so I'm going to present a window so we're gonna click on window here and here are all the windows that I have open so here are all the options I have to choose from I'm gonna click this tab right here and then once it's highlighted in blue and we click share now I am presenting my screen and you can see here at the bottom it says that you're sharing a window so even if you click out of your Google meet if you need to kind of change the website that you're going to go to, it will still show you here that you are sharing a window. So that's how you know what you're sharing if you do need to click out of Google Meet, which can be really helpful. You can just click stop sharing and now you're just back to your normal meeting. I also wanted to show you that if you pull up a tab while you're sharing, anything that's outlined in this blue highlight is what you're going to be sharing on your meeting. And then let's just say you open up a new tab, it's going to say, do you want to share this tab instead? So if you need to switch to a different tab, you can click share this tab instead, and then it will highlight whatever new one you pull up. And then obviously, if we want to stop, you can just click here as well, and it will stop presenting. And if you want to leave a meeting, you just click leave call. In Zoom, it will give you the option to say, like, are you sure you want to leave? This is just going to automatically hang up, so make sure that you're ready to leave the call before you actually do. You can also use Google Meet with your phone or your iPad, so you would just have to download the Google Meet app from the App Store on any of those devices. So that is it for today. I really hope this video helped you learn how to use Google Meet or how to use it better if you were struggling before. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.